When I met her, I was a crazy, crazy fan, and um, she kind of calmed me down. And I never forget, it was at the Brit Awards one year, I can't remember what year it was, but she was so welcoming, very humble, and such a sweetheart. So, yeah, it was a pleasure, pleasure meeting her. She's always shown me to never give up. Um, Amy was someone who never, ever gave up. And the fact that her foundation gives young people such a chance to improve their lives and to um, have hope and to have courage, I think is something to be celebrated. So tonight we pay homage to her legacy and to who Amy was for us, and still is. As someone who's seen you know, the, the damaging effects close up, when, when you see modern day celebrities now, is there ever a time when you look at them and think, gosh, this one looks like they're going off the rails? Obviously, don't name names, but are, are you on the lookout for that? Well, no, it's nothing to, nothing to do with me, you know, and um, I understand the connotation, but, you know, uh, um, you know, people who are in the, are in the spotlight uh, in showbiz, they, you know, you don't hear you don't hear headlines about the fact that Adele doesn't take drugs, or this one doesn't take, or that one's very good. To, it's feeling very well today. Of course, what you hear about is this one's doing that, or that one's doing that, or Peaches Gelder unfortunately passed away. You don't hear about the vast majority of people in the music and entertainment industry that are perfectly fine. You know, it's uh, it's a myth that everybody in the music industry or the entertainment industry is on drugs and out of their heads all the time. It's not true at all.